We can customize how our financial statements look by assigning GL accounts an account category. If we open this GL account card that we have here, just as an example, we can see the account category field is listed here. And our options available to us to choose from are between blank, assets, liabilities, equity, income, cost of goods sold, and expense. If we wish, we can categorize these further using account subcategories. If we drill into the account subcategory field here, we open the GL account categories page, which lists all the relevant, uh, relevant ones we have here. Alternatively, we can search for the page, and we have a much wider list of categories to look at. If we create a number of subcategories, we can create a new category group for them by indenting them under a line in the window. We can do this by using process and indent where appropriate. This helps with uh, getting an overview for each grouping as a total balance as well. You can see that these balances are listed here. Uh, for example, we have two different categories that relate to assets, our current assets and fixed assets. And we can compare the value of our current assets with our fixed assets as they've been both been indented to allow for individual totaling. And we can continue to use that for further totaling purposes in amongst the other categories that we have available to us.